Hello guys, welcome to Solving Solutions, your number one channel where you get solutions to all your solving problems. It's nice having you in class again today, how have you been? We are going to show you a few things on AutoCAD, how to, let's say, use your AutoCAD um, more efficiently. So thanks for coming to class. If you're coming to the channel for the first time, you can encourage us by subscribing. And if you are a returning viewer, thanks for always checking up on us. So we are going to show you a a tool should we call it a tool or let's say an app yeah because it's actually an app we are going to show you an app which you can use to list out um, coordinates of points in a tabular form like any number of points you have them um, on your autocad um, environment in a tabular form and finally export it to excel right because that's actually a place where you can process or let's say yeah process your data or do modifications to your data so without spending much time you either come to tools and then you go to load application or you come to auto lips and then you go to load application or you just um, automatically type um, upload on your command line and you hit enter good so these are two of the lisp files we are going to use because it's actually um, a programming language that's like, um, should we call it a plugin or something? Because on JS, we just call it a plugin that um, adds um, efficiency to how you use your card, right? So the this is the file you load, and then you do what you close, right? Good. So we've actually loaded it. You can see um, upload core .lsp successfully loaded. So let's um, um, plot just um, some points to see how that goes. So we already have some points here, which we've been using on the channel. So let's try. So let's try to plot them. Let's see, paste, escape, and um, zoom extent, right? So since it's not still closed, we can still just do this and close it up, right? Good. So we have them. Um, yours might be something else it can even be spot height data right it can be spot height data it can be anything you are doing on card but we are just using them this um, the four corner maybe five corner boundary for our own illustration so when you've plotted your your boundary or when you've plotted your data on a motor card you just um, load the the tool or the app then you type um, c o double arrow right you type c double arrow then you hit enter so you can see under the command the it is requesting for what enter the first point by enter the first point it can be the first point of your traverse or the first point you've chosen any first point you want to use but let's just say these are first point it's also requesting for the second point right so let's say these are second point good now it's asking us to enter a start number that means on the table remember we have a table right on the table how do you want the the points to be listed from what number so let's say you want it to start from one it doesn't um, accept alphabet right it only accepts um, numbers so you just say one or something then you hit enter then the next command is that um, we should enter the left corner of a table you specify where the table will be so let's say our table will be somewhere around there good so the table is being loaded you can see and it has been loaded right good so you can see the table has been loaded so this is the eastern and the northern coordinate of what of the first two points we've selected so as we told you earlier let's say you are using it for spot title or any other data which might not really be for boundary which means you are going to pick some random points right good so as you keep picking the points they are being labeled on your table you can see the table is even interactive it is being labeled as you keep picking the point it is being labeled right good you can see point seven point eight as many points as you want to pick right good so when you are done with picking the points just hit enter then your table is what is formed and well aligned are we together so you can see what you can see the point id you can see your eastern and you can also see your what your northern 
so with this maybe whatever you want to do maybe you just want to export it which most times is the final product you want to export it to excel or definitely you just want to list out those coordinates to see how they appear because you know the conventional list on them um, on autocad uses the points that are already on the on the canvas should we call it canvas the points that are already on autocad but with this you can actually list some random points at any point on your workspace right so since you've gotten this the next thing you want to do is to what is to export it now there is still another tool which told you that you can either come to tools then you go to load application so let's use this for now then let's now use this um, second one which is what ce underscore table export right so we load it and close so it has been loaded now what we want to do is that we want to export this particular table yours might be more than 12 yours might be 20 yours might be 4 it might be 50 no matter the number just load that um, other application then you type ce enter now the command is that we should what we should select the object so the object we want to select is what the table we want to export right so you just highlight all and then you select then you hit enter session for merge cells as you can see then when it's done it will automatically open an excel sheet good that's been done it will automatically open an excel sheet which you can see now stating what the different um, point ids and their corresponding coordinates right so with this you can decide to continue with whatever and processing you want to do with it remember that this is where we started from we plotted a boundary of four corners right good then we just chose to pick some random points within or let's say around the area and we saw how the points were updated on the table right good and the table was uh, subsequently exported to what to excel which you can also see here so if you want to assess these two applications which will be used them um, on this video you can check them um, the description section of this video to have access to the link where you can do what where you can download these two files if per adventure you have issues with um, the orientation of the text let's say the rotation of the text let's say when you load or maybe when you start using yours when you get your table if the text are not rotated in the right angle you can just select any of the text come to the properties you modify the angle it is being rotated at and then you just use what your match property sorry you use your match properties to what to affect the others so we are just saying this just in case if you encounter a challenge like that but if you don't you are good to go because you have what your your boundary here and then you have some points here then you have all of the coordinates on or let's say in a table right good you have all of the coordinates in a table and you successfully exported that table to what to excel which will now enhance whatever you want to do with it so yeah thanks for coming to class we hope we've provided solution to this particular solving problem if you found it interesting you can like the video subscribe if you've not share with your friends and you know encourage them to check out the channel so we are going to see you on the next video until then you can support us you can you know, help us get the coffee and then keep having the best of times bye